Hello football fans and welcome to today's ACSA primetime matchup featuring two teams from the top 10 what should be a great game within the Atlantic Shore Conference. Today games features the number two team in the nation and the Warwick Rebels going on the road to play against the number seven team in the nation and the Herbert Hoover College Old Glory. Two teams that are on top of the Atlantic Shore Conference right now. And they are fighting for early Atlantic Shore Conference supremacy as these two teams could be a potential Atlantic Shore Conference Championship preview. You never know. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's game action. If you're ready for today's video, smash that like button. And if you're new and are excited as well, hit that subscribe button for me as well. Let's go ahead and get into some game action, shall we? So with the pleasantries now out of the way, let's get into what could potentially be the Atlantic Shore Conference Championship preview between the Warwick Rebels and the Herbert Hoover College Old Glory. Both these teams do have a similar color set, but the Warwick Rebels are in white, whereas the Herbert Hoover College team, they got the red jerseys on right now on their shirts. So Warwick does have the football first and they have a second and three going right now. Williams going to throw to the left hand side and tries to get it over there but it is incomplete. As now third and three once again quarterback ready to get ready to go here. As quarterback set to drop back and pass Williams on a third and three. He's looking around avoids pressure and is able to get upfield. He was able to get close to the 50 yard one as well. Great play by that quarterback able to get up there and make a play as we got a second and eight now gonna try to throw it over the left hand side what a throw off his body Morgan able to make the catch and the Warwick Rebels are going to strike first they get into the end zone for a touchdown and so the number two team in the nation strikes first leading seven to nothing now get a chance to see Herbert Hoover's offense for the first time this is the first time that we've seen both of these teams in an ACSA episode. You know, they, we only have seen, you know, what they've been doing through simmed performances. You know, but they're both coming in undefeated and they'll both look like really good teams that could potentially make it to the college football playoff at the end of the season. So a huge game for both squads and we got a third and nine now going to the left hand side over to Gray. Who is able to make the catch and pick up the first down in the process. Is down. We got a second and eight coming up. Marcus dropping back to pass. He's got plenty of time. Could make himself a sandwich if he wanted to. And instead of making that sandwich, he's just going to go ahead and scramble upfield. And nearly picks up the first down in the process. As now we have just one yard away. Herbert Hoover running a five-yard set. Wouldn't be surprised if they ran a quarterback draw here. As they do do just that. And Marcus nearly gets into the end zone because of it. First down for the old glory. And so we got a goal line situation now. Mark is going to try to throw over the middle and finds Moghan in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, old glory. And Herbert Hoover is going to respond. And they get this game all tied up at seven apiece. But look at this. Warwick Rebels on their next possession. They go free and out, actually. So now we see the Herbert Hoover offense. Out on the field once again. They have an opportunity to take the lead. We'll see if they can get it done as they go up the middle with Bishop. One of their tailbacks on this squad. Able to pick up a first down. That's now first and ten. Marcus dropping back to pass. Going to the left hand side. It's intercepted by Mason. He could bring this back to a pick six. JC Marcus can't catch him. And what a momentum swing right there. As Warwick... Gets the interception, brings it back for a touchdown. So a pick six, and then Herbert Hoover College goes free and out on their next possession. So Warwick looking to take momentum early, and they could easily. Jones with one man to beat. He gets out. There's a fumble, but it's recovered by the Rebels. Oh, bullet dodge there. A lot of Herbert Hoover College guys in the vicinity as now. They are on the verge of putting on some more points on the board. Just a couple yards away. Williams looking to drop back. Gets sacked right away. Didn't have time to process his reads. Tyra Palmer able to get up there and get the sack. It's now third and six. 
Williams is dropping back. He's got plenty of time. Going to try to scramble into the end zone. He's going to be stuffed just short. The one-yard line monster taking him there. As Warwick will actually look to take it on fourth and goal. And they get it to their fullback. Love finds the end zone. Touchdown, Warwick. And just like that, one quarter of play in. Warwick already with 21 points on the board. Herbert Hoover already needing... You know, playing from behind, not something you want to do with this Warwick team as they have one of the more explosive offenses in the country as they go deep downfield, try to get a huge play, but it's knocked away for the incompletion. It's now second and ten. Mark is going to have to scramble right away, but finds Magham. Nice job keeping his eyes upfield, leading to a huge first down for the old glory. Able to get him across the 50-yard line. We'll see if they can build on that as they got a first and ten. Marcus... Going downfield again, overthrows his man for the incompletion. That ends the first quarter of play. Warwick with only three first downs in that first quarter, but they have three touchdowns as well, one of which caused by the defense. So now a third and 11 that Warwick is, is having on defense. Mark is going to drop back the pass for the old Gore. Going to try to get over in the middle, but it is incomplete. Yo, Glory having to punt the ball away, but they do force a free and out though, so we do see them back on the field once again and have really good field position to start too, so we'll see if they can do anything with it as Marcus has a very clean pocket to work with, throwing it to the left hand side doing a little bit of an RPA uh, run pass option, throws it to Mog hand for his third catch of the day. As we got a third and five coming up here, we'll see if they can pick up this first down. As Marcus setting to drop back the pass, he's got a very clean pocket to work with. Going to try to scramble though, escaping pressure as all the receivers were locked up. But JC Marcus making the right play though and able to pick up the first down. And so the drive continues now, two plays later, trying to get over the middle to Mockham once again for another catch who gets him to another first down. Get him inside the red zone as well as Herbert Hoover looks to cut this lead down in half. And they could do it here as Reader just hitting the spin cycle. Able to make multiple guys miss. Is now second and five. Marcus dropping back to pass. Going over the left hand side. It's incomplete, however. And so a third and five coming up here. We'll see if they'll be able to convert once again. They got one third down conversion on this drive. Can they make it two? Marcus dropping back. He's got time in the pocket. He's going to try to throw it to the right hand side, gets it to Bishop, who cuts out of bounds, but does end up picking the first down nonetheless. And so now a first and goal, going to try to go to the end zone right away, but misses, a little miscommunication, causing that incompletion there. Is now second and goal, Marcus is looking around, going to chunk this towards the back of the end zone, and it's incomplete, however, and so third and goal. For the Herbert Hoover College Old Glory. Got to make a play here. Third and goal. Marcus going to go to Reader. Can he get to the end zone? No, he can't. They're going to be just short. But they're going to go for it here on fourth down. Going to try to run it with Brooks. Who gets stuffed at the one yard line. So the Warwick defense makes a goal line stand. But they're going to be in the shadow of their own goal line though. On the one yard line. But they do get a nice pass play good for 24 yards to get them out of the shadow of their own goal line. Warwick trying to take complete dominance of this game early here in this first half between these two Atlantic Shore Conference teams. It's now second and three. Williams dropping back to pass once again. He's got a clean pocket. He's going to eat this one over the middle, but it's incomplete. However, broken up at the last second. So now third and three. Williams looking to drop back again. Going to try to go over the middle. That's deflected away again as well. So Warwick College had to punt the football away. But luckily for them, you know, they were able to at least get out of the shadow of their own goal line at the very least. You know, in order to prevent a safety. So not a bad drive for the Warwick Rebels, even though they did have to end up punting the ball away. So now we'll see what Herder College can do. They had a really good drive last time out, but we're stuffed at the one-yard line. The end of a turnover on downs, but they're not going to have that. Wait a minute. 
Wow, what a defensive effort. I thought that man was going to be in for a touchdown. They're going to be on the one-yard line, but they're going to be brought back. There's an illegal procedure that's going to knock them back a little bit. And so now, first and goal from the six-yard line. Going to try to throw it towards the end zone. It is incomplete. So now, second and goal now. Marcus going to go to Reader once again. And he won't be denied this time. Bouncing off defenders in the end zone. Touchdown, old glory. And that cuts the lead in half. So now Warwick only enjoying a seven-point lead right now. As now we'll see how the Rebels can respond. They try to run a quarterback draw. But there's a holding penalty on Jason Peabody. That brings them back to about the 11-yard line. As they face a second and 20. Now make it third and 20 right now. You got to make a play here. They're running the football, giving up. But look at this. Love gets loose. And no one's going to be able to catch this man. What a run by Love. You love to see that. And that's going to be another touchdown for the Rebels. Huge touchdown run culminating on that drive. And so now the lead is back to two possessions. But the Herbert Hoover Old Glory have the ball left with less than two minutes. So let's see what they can do with what could be their last possession of the first half as Bishop is able to make the grab off double coverage. Channeling has entered Deontay Hopkins on that play as the Old Glory continue to move upfield. They're marching down. They got a seven-yard gain from quarterback J.C. Marcus. Able to make some yards on that one. And now second and three. Marcus scrambling around. Going to actually get upfield. Able to pick up the first down. Another, you know, nice gain for the Old Glory. Now sitting on the edge of the red zone. They don't have any timeouts. They only have 45 seconds left, so let's see what they can do with it. Third and six. Marcus dropping back the pass. Got to make this first catch, but they don't make the grab. Herbert Hoover having to settle for a field goal. But a nice game here in the first half as Warwick has a 28-17 lead. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get the second half officially underway. The old glory do start out with the football, so let's see what they can do with it. As J.C. Marcus gets him upfield for a 7-yard gain to begin the second half of play. As now, we got a 2nd and 3 coming up. Marcus dropping back to pass. Going to try to scramble, but the Warwick defense does a beautiful job of playing containment. D.J. Kareem able to get home for his first sack of the day. Now, 3rd and 7 for the Old Glory. Marcus dropping back. Looking around, going to try to scramble out. This time, able to get out of there. Breaking multiple tackles. He's still going. And is finally brought down across the 45-yard line. What a run by J.C. Marcus, who is still only a freshman. And you want to talk about an upperclassman move, able to draw somebody off sides. So now, first and five, Marcus going to try to scramble again. This time, sliding down. Got to preserve the body whenever you can. So a smart play by J.C. Marcus to get down while he still could. And speaking of which, there's J.C. Marcus again. Going to try to scramble. But again, another sack by the Warwick Rebels. It's going to bring him back a notch. He's now second and 14. Running for his life. Finds Fang on the outside. He's able to get across the 25-yard line for a nice first down on that one. And so we got this thing rocking and rolling now. Marcus going over the middle, gets it over to Gray, who just couldn't turn up field for a first down. I could have done so if, you know, could have gotten down earlier, but not a great throw bump by J.C. Marcus. And will cost him some yards, but they won't pay for it in the short term as Bishop does end up picking up the first down anyways on the next play. As now, first and goal from the nine-yard line. Going to try to throw to right-hand side. Receiver was not ready, so that is an incomplete. And so a third and long now from the nine-yard line. Got to get into the end zone here as Reader going to try to get them there as he's going to be knocked down at the three-yard line. Will they go for it again? No, they will not. They settle for the field goal this time around. They do get to a one-score game, but it's still an eight-point deficit for the old glory. Warwick has the football once again, so let's see if they can get some points of their own for their very, very first drive. 
of this second half. It's now first and ten. Williams going to scramble around once again, able to scramble upfield for a nice five-yard gain before getting lit up like a Christmas tree. So let's see what if they can build off of that. Second and five, going to Love. He's got a long touchdown run earlier and is able to get another big gain once again. Love being able to come up in there, you know, just gash this defense. A very good Herbert Hoover College defense, by the way. You know, really exposing these guys. Is now third and five coming up here. Williams going to drop back the pass. Going to try to scramble, but look at this. We got a man down. Herbert Hoover College does its job in forcing a punt. So the old glory have the ball back once again. They have an opportunity to tie this game up once, you know, for the very first time since very early in the first quarter when it was all tied up at zero apiece. Warwick has enjoyed the lead for the vast majority of this football game. So now, third and one coming up. We got a guy in shotgun. Could be a power run to the right-hand side, and it is just that. Calling that Tony Romo, Coach Adamas, but still picking up a first down nonetheless. It's now second and 12, two plays later. Marcus, he's looking around, going to go ahead and scramble to the left-hand side instead, though. Wanted to go deep, but the deep routes were all covered. But still able to pick up the first down with the legs, nonetheless, as J.C. Marcus is approaching 100 yards rushing. So getting it done through the air and on the ground. As we do go into the last quarter of play with just an 8-point lead, we're going to see who comes out on top here in this Atlantic Shore matchup. As we are now in the final quarter of play. We'll see how it starts off. Second and 14. Going to try to throw to the right-hand side. It is incomplete, though. And so third and long for Hoover. Herbert Hoover facing a very long third down conversion. Third and 14. Not a situation you want to be in as Marcus scrambling for his life. Going to try to get to the first down marker with his legs, but it's a four-yard gain. That's all they managed to get. And the old glory... Settle for another field goal that doesn't really change things. They're still going to have to get a touchdown, you know, to take the lead once again. And that's if Warwick doesn't decide to do anything on their next drive. So, naturally, this is going to be a huge possession for both teams right here. As we got a second and seven now. Williams dropping back to pass. He's going to send this one deep. He wants a score right now, and he's going to get it. Morgan. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels. And once again, Herbert Hoover has been calling back. But now it's a two-score game once again. And because of a free and out on their next possession, they are going to have to go ahead and give the ball back to Warwick once again. So if they can score on this next drive, this game could very much be over. We'll have to wait and see how much fight we have left in this Old Glory football team as Warwick is now across the 50-yard line for a first down. Is now first and 10 from the 47-yard line. Williams driving back the pass, going over the middle, and it's incomplete. One-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside and just couldn't connect on that one. So they do give it to their trusty running back, you know, at least kill a little bit of clock. The time is on Warwick's side. As Herbert Hoover needs to get them off the field on his third and five. And they're going to do just that. An unforced error gives Herbert Hoover the ball back. And they know what they need to do. They have to score touchdowns from here on out. In order, you know, to get themselves back into this football game. So Herbert Hoover, they couldn't get it done. They settled for a field goal last time out. The last time that we were in the red zone, of course. They can't do that again. As Mark is going to go ahead and scramble upfield once again. Able to pick up some good yards at the very least. Able to get about, looks like, just the 37-yard line. Is now third and seven once again. J.C. Mark is making some adjustments at the line of scrimmage. As he does, get it off to Reader who tries to find him running room. But there just simply wasn't any there. And oddly enough, they do decide to punt the ball, but got very fortunate. Warwick went free and out. A very head-scratching decision, but they do have the football once again on this first and ten. So let's see if they do anything with the second chance as J.C. Marcus gets him across 
the 35 yard line for a first down. The old glory trying to march down, get one more touchdown on the board at the very least. As Marcus is going to try to power through another nine yard one run. So now facing third and short, got to pick up this first down here. You just need it as the clock is ticking right now. Mark is going to go to rear, but he's going to be stuffed in the backfield. And look what happens. They actually settle for a field goal. Talk about lack of faith of going for it on fourth down. And so that decision by that coach is going to cost him. It's still a two-possession game, but J.C. Marcus still has one minute left. So they're going to keep fighting until the bitter end. So you got to give it to the old glory there. It'll look like this game could very much be over as Warwick's going to somehow be able to escape. But will it be a nine-point game or will it be closer, though, as J.C. Mark is going to try to scramble once again, able to pick up another first down at the very least, but they're starting to run short on time. Now there's only five seconds left. I don't know if they're even going to get this snap off. I don't know if they do. So in a battle between two Atlantic Shore Conference Titans, the Warwick Rambles are the team that comes out on top, defeating the Herbert Hoover College Old Glory by a final score of 35-26, to showing that they are a true contender for the college football playoff in this inaugural season of the ACSA, not only maintaining their number two ranking, showing why they are ranked that high, but also improving the 7-0 on season. Now the Old Glory do also take their first loss of the season, but no shame in that. Warwick is a very good football team. They show that they belonged in the top 10. So it's a very good game for Herbert Hoover College, but they do fall to 6-1. Do take their first loss of the season. Next episode of the ACSA will be dropping tomorrow night, where we'll be seeing all the non prime time games that will be shown here on the channel in one single episode. Five games, one episode, should be a good one. So if you're excited about tomorrow's video as well as enjoy today's content, do me a favor and please smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you do happen to be brand new to the channel. This is John Jake Gaming on the mic, hoping you guys are all having a wonderful day out there. Take care, everybody.